Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Susie. It's nice to meet ya. The house is overdue for a deep clean declutter organization. It's well into January now. I was planning to do this as soon as we got back to the Gold Coast, but haven't been able to do it yet. So today is the day. I feel like every new year you need to do a deep deep clean spring cleaning even though it's not spring it's summer here in Australia it just sets you up for a good year when you know where everything is it's not cluttered because I feel cluttered and overwhelmed in my brain from the state of this house another reason that we are deep cleaning which I'm very embarrassed to admit but I trust that you guys aren't going to judge me because it's not what you think I love when American people call them roaches we have roaches and I was trying to go to sleep last night and I saw saw something scurry under the bed and it was a freaking massive cockroach just like staring at me with its little antennas. But no, Murray and I are not gross. I used to be gross. Like my room back in camera, that was gross. But we actually keep this house really clean. Like we hardly ever leave food out. I think we left food out once overnight. So I am living in fear at the moment until we scrape clean every corner of this house. There we are with the pump cover. Sit my stupid ass down. Bro! I've been back from the gym for hours now and have not done a single thing. I've been watching cleaning videos on YouTube and on TikTok all day. We're gonna be motivating in a second. I just need to get the motivation myself first. Oh. Ah! Murray is here, <laughs> your head's cut off. And we're gonna clean the spare bedroom, which is now the junk room again. We don't have a garage, so it's kind of hard to put the Christmas decorations anywhere. We got some storage boxes from Bunning, so we're gonna put the Christmas decorations in here and put them under the house. We're gonna start by decluttering my bags. So we're doing the Marie Kondo method where we chuck them all on the bed and I ask myself, does it spark joy? Do I have another one that is similar? Basically just see if I'm likely to use them. I don't think I need both of them. I do need them. I do need, what if I need a pink bag? Oh, okay, so I'm gonna... Oh wait, let me look in the mirror. Put these aside for now. <laughs> oh no, we have another pink bag. Murray, what do you think? Keep that one and get rid of those other two. Cornish pasty purse, keep. Is this chuggy? It's from gross. I don't if have anything play, else like that. If you this. can't play that, then get rid of it. I mean, that no. one. <laughs> but it's useful. It's just a freak before a makeup bag. And here's all the bags I'm getting rid of, which I feel like is pretty good. 12 bags. It's the next day because yesterday I had a meltdown about how overwhelmed I was to clean out my closet. <laughs> I just wasn't in the right headspace, but today I am ready to be brutal. So we are at my dresses. I have not cleaned out my closet in so long, like since I last did a clean out in a video. So I'm hopefully going to cut this down by half. And my reasons for getting rid of things is gonna be if it doesn't fit, if it's something that I've held onto for so long, but I haven't worn it yet, it's going. If I have something similar, gone. And if I don't see myself wearing it, out of here. Like this skirt. I kept this last closet declutter and I still haven't worn it. So she's got to go, even if it is cute. I wore this to the Barbie event, but honestly, there is no way I'm going to wear this again. Somebody else can wear the power suit. I think I'm going to 
stop doing the dresses and whatnot for now because I'm just not making any progress. So I think it's best that I step away and move on to another section of clothes. But honestly, I've made really good progress so far. This was originally my active wear closet, but now I've accumulated active wear all over the house. So I need to just go and grab every bit of active wear I own and put it in a pile. <laughs> later but would it be a Susie J Todd cleaning video if it didn't take me five business days to finish? No it wouldn't. I kind of hit a wall with organizing my activewear so I've decided I'm gonna sort out the bedroom and it's finally a sunny day so I can do some laundry. I have this massive pile on the floor of clothes that was clean clothes but now it's dirty and clean clothes so I need to sort through it and find what is actually clean. Remind me to hang that out when it's done. Dirty clothes in my laundry basket. Clean clothes on the bed. We're making progress. I woke up with a fire burning in my belly to clean this place. And if I don't finish today, I am just going to move out and go into the woods and disappear. I might not do that, but I am finishing this today, no matter what. And over here is my closet. I don't know how to describe it other than an absolute shit show. I definitely need to go through this and get rid of some clothes out of here because I wear like the same five shirts every single day. I also am planning on using this as my active wear drawer. I was gonna like sand and refinish this. So I'm like, should I wait and sand and refinish it? But knowing me, am I really gonna get to that? currently going through my jeans and this is quite easy because I gained weight over the holidays which by the way completely normal completely okay but a lot of my pants don't fit me anymore and I'm not keeping things because I should fit clothes no clothes should fit me I shouldn't fit them I would class this as a not fitting I can't breathe gained weight so this is easy whoa <laughs> you're right <laughs> 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 you're right <laughs> No. Ta da! And now we're moving on to shorts. It is the next day again. I finished the main part of my closet yesterday. Look at that. I kind of color coded it, kind of not really. I've got all of my dressy tops up here singlets, tops. Pants, shorts, oversized shirts, pajamas, bada bing, bada boom. But now I need to finally get back to doing the active wear, which I'm gonna put in this dresser. And that's the thing I'm really putting off because you guys are not even ready to see how much active wear I have. And now I need to sort through all of this and put it into this. Cause baby love. to deep clean this room. A hack I saw is to pretend that you're a professional cleaner and you're cleaning someone else's house. And just pretending like I was getting paid for this made it so much easier. This room was so dusty, that's a dead moth on the windowsill. RIP little guy. He probably died from the lack of air quality in this room. I made sure to clean a lot of the places I usually neglect, like the fan, which no wonder I have asthma from the amount of dust that was on this fan. I was gobsmacked. I think next step is to get an air purifier because I do not know where all this dust is coming from. Also, if you 
you're thinking to yourself, wow, Susie does all the cleaning, Murray does nothing. He actually was cleaning at the same time as me, just in the other room not being filmed. He actually cleans more than me most of the time. And a lot of it is my mess. It was so satisfying finally getting the dust off the bottom of the cupboard. Don't be fooled. Even though this is sped up, this actually took me hours. I have made so much progress and it's nighttime now. I swear I clean better at nighttime. We're gonna do the ensuite. It's nasty. The ensuite is the main bathroom that we use and it has been my dumping ground. I somehow broke my bin in here, so I've just been chucking my rubbish on here, which is gross. Actually, I'm not judging myself. You know, sometimes we go through messy phases. Seems to be a lot of my life that's a messy phase, but I'm gonna be kind to myself. First thing I'm gonna do is clear any of the rubbish and also anything that doesn't belong in here, I'm gonna put in this box. Before I start scrubbing the basin, I need to address this. Ugh. Brother, ugh. I think my fake tan got so hot from the humidity that it has put marks all over the inside of the cupboard. Like look at this CeraVe moisturizer that has tan all over it. So I'm gonna grab everything out and give this a good old clean. next day. I am finally about to be finished with the bedroom and ensuite. And yes, I didn't wear gloves while washing the bathroom, but it's only mine and Murray's pee and poo that I need to worry about. Now I need to vacuum and mop everything. Murray and I woke up at 12 today because I stayed up late cleaning. <gasps> There goes my sleep schedule again. I'm excited to mop in here though, because this is kind of gross. I'm just gonna be honest, Murray and I have never mopped in the bedroom before. We've only ever vacuumed in the bedroom since we moved into this house. Let's see what comes up. By the way, if you're thinking about getting the Dyson vacuum, do it. This is the best purchase Murray and I have ever made for this house. The fact that we don't have to plug it in just makes it so much easier to vacuum. We still let the house get gross. Does anybody else keep a hammer under their bed? Ugh. Don't try breaking into this house or you'll get hammered. I've got a bucket, a spin mop, and a drain to get these floors spotless. Let's do it. basically done for the most part, but I'll do a whole like after of the entire house after we're done. So I cleaned the bathroom, but we actually have two bathrooms. So now I need to clean the bathroom again. And this bathroom is actually way bigger. Two face killer, go gorilla for the bag. Uh, that boy be a pussy, kill the vibe, he a drag. Uh, autobiography gon' look like a brag. Huh? Let's get to the money, I'm on PT Duddy ass. <laughs> Hello guys, I would say it's about the sixth day of cleaning now and I've brought out the big guns, the cleaning moo moo. If you're not cleaning in a cleaning moo moo, you're not really cleaning right. Oh my God, just while I was filming that, I saw a little girl like in our front garden and I was like, what is she doing? And our bin fell over and she just picked it up for us. That little girl is an angel. That just restored my love for the world again. Love you. So yesterday I finished cleaning the bathroom and mopping the floors and everything. Here is the main bathroom at the moment. This is where I keep all of my perfumes, deodorants. This is um, a very essential item for the toilet, things to do while you poo on the loo. It's a great read, would recommend. There is just one thing that I still need to do and that is get the plants out of the shower that have been in there since we went and visited Canberra for an entire month. And some of them, I think, are beyond the point of return. I'm so sorry, plants. I used to have a green thumb. I don't know where it went. But we still need to tackle the living room, the kitchen, 
Still got our Christmas cushions, which we need to put away and put our other cushions out. And the room that I have been putting off. This is my filming room slash office area. And it's probably like the worst room in the house at the moment. This is a bunch of Christmas presents that I got that I still haven't put anywhere. I kind of want to move around this room because I actually do not like having two desks. I don't know why I thought that having two desks in here was a good idea. Here are all of my dresses, which look so good. I don't know what is with me and not putting away my Christmas presents. I just like it to feel like they're brand new for as long as possible. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys, my mum adopted a platypus for me for Christmas. Also got the Sol de Janeiro beige floor set. Mm. This Mecca box is so pretty and I'm tempted to keep it to wrap things in, but also we usually just wrap things without a box. So I kind of don't need to keep this. This is a hard box to get rid of. not done my own nails in forever. It's just so hard. It takes me like four hours. I give up. But I still have all of my nail stuff just sitting under my desk because I don't have any room for it. But I think I'm going to go through it and try and find a space for it in my cupboard so it's not just sitting out. It looks so ugly. It's so annoying. It is so dusty from just sitting on the floor. Also, I don't think I've shown you guys yet, but this is my sit-stand desk I got with the intention of getting a walking pad and doing 10k steps a day. Never ended up getting the walking pad and this desk kind of has turned into my dumping ground. <laughs> but it's better than before, so that's a triumph in my eyes. It feels so good to get that off the floor. It fits, yay! It's already looking so much more tidy in here, but I need to declutter my shoes now. This is all recycling that needs to go away, but Murray and I have this shoe stand near the door and we both hate it. It looks so messy. So I think I'm gonna move the shoe stand into the cupboard in my filming room. Here are all of my shoes, and I definitely do not need this many pairs. A lot of these really need a wash, and I just put them in my cupboard instead of washing them. Like these boots, I wore them to Splendor in the grass, and they have mud all over them, and I just put them in my cupboard. That's gross. It's giving Alex a vomit dress. I do not need two pairs of cowboy white boots. Oh. 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 Which one should I keep? These ones are a bit comfier, so I think I'm gonna keep these. Oh my god, like these are so cool. I can't get rid of these. I've never done a mud run in my life, but I kind of want to hold on to these just in case I need to do a mud run. Okay, that's all I'm getting rid of. <laughs> I literally got rid of like two pairs. Now I'm gonna try move the shoe stand into here, but first I need to vacuum because it is so dusty and gross. Is what the shoes are looking like at the moment. I've actually just put all of my heels on here, which isn't ideal, but it's good enough. I do want to eventually get a taller shoe stand. So then hopefully we can fit all of the shoes on there and I don't have to put my boots over here. And now we're going to do some rearranging. I currently have my makeup in front of the window and it's so hot that my makeup's been melting. So I think we're going to move the makeup table to this wall and then have the clothes rack in the middle. I need an interior designer. Does that look weird? I hate putting things in front of windows, but I can't think of anywhere else that will fit. And I think we can finally wipe the August calendar whiteboard off. I really thought that getting a whiteboard would solve all my problems, but it doesn't if you don't actually use the whiteboard. It's not coming off. I remember the teachers doing this in school where they would use a normal whiteboard marker to get off permanent marker, and it's actually working. Much better. This iMac has been sitting in a box since I got it because I just prefer to use my laptop because I can move it around and work on the couch. But I need to use this. Like, it's just a waste of money if I don't actually use this. So I'm gonna get it out. Oh, that was loud. Have I been putting this off for months? Yes. Did it take me five seconds? I think you already know the answer. Murray's on vacuuming and mopping duties. Thank you. 
Murray vacuum and mopped all of the floors yesterday and they look so good, but we still have some finishing touches to get done today. The house is looking so good though. And this is all of the bags of clothes and handbags and other things that I am donating. 11 bags. So Murray's gone and hung up my plant hangers, but now I just need to get my plants out of the shower and put them around the house. I did give them a water and some fertilizer, so hopefully they perk up a bit because they are looking a bit sad at the moment. Ow! This cactus was half the size before, and now it looks like a little Christmas tree. I don't think that's a good thing. I'm sorry, cactus. We've got a few scrap papers, so I'll just pick them off. All of the plant people are gonna hate me. I am planning on getting some things to put on the wall to have the vine trail across the wall, but for now, she can just stay like that. Now I'm going to tackle the laundry cupboard. It is so chaotic in here. One thing I do miss about our last house was having a separate laundry. This is so overwhelming. It looks way better in here. Still not the best use of the space, but it looks a lot cleaner than it did before. So I'm happy. It was chaotic before. Now we actually have some bench space and we can use the sink. Yay. It's February and we're finally putting the Christmas cushions away. I bought these flowers on the weekend with the intention of having them as like a, oh, the house is finished. It's so clean. We have some fresh flowers on the table. And it took me so long to finish cleaning that they're dead now. These only died in like two days though. They were already kind of crispy when I got them. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit hungover. I know I'm only 24, but I just cannot drink like I used to. I didn't even have that much to drink. I remember when I used to drink straight vodka when I was a teen. I'm scared of that girl. I've got some dishes and whatnot that need to be put away, so let's give the kitchen a clean first. My Uber Eats just came. <laughs> Fried ebi nigiri. Why is it warm? That's really put me off. It's so really good. Kitchen is good. She's looking clean. She's looking sexy. That was speed cleaning. I mean, I could clean out the fridge. No, I think that's a video for another day. <laughs> I need to give this mirror a good clean because we didn't have any glass cleaner. So I went and got some. I think that was way too much. It still looks smudged. What am I doing wrong? And I have a very exciting adult purchase to show you. No, it's not a vibrator. It's a spot cleaner. Yeah. I actually did get a spot cleaner a while ago. I ended up returning it because it was just so heavy. I've heard good things about this Vax spot cleaner and our couch is in need of a clean. Here's the couch before. She's seen better days, but we're gonna get her looking all spick and span. This is so much bigger than I was expecting. That looks like some heavy duty shit. First, I'm gonna give it a little vacuum just to get any of the dust off. Ew, I did not realize how much dust was gonna be under here. That's a bit better now. Now I've gotta put the cushions back on. Ugh. I've been putting this off because I thought that was gonna be a workout and I was right. This is all of the dirty water that came out of the couch. That is rank. Oh, that is so gross. Here is the couch after. It's not perfect, but I reckon it does look cleaner. I think I might've put a water stain right there. Oops, the stains are gone. There were stains there, they're gone now. And here is the house finally done and looking pretty damn slay. 
in my opinion. It's a little bit dustier since we first started because it's been a few days. And unfortunately, when you clean a house, you have to like keep cleaning it. Not a fan of that part, but oh my God, it looks so good. So much better in here than when we first started. The before versus after is insane. Oh, look at the afternoon light. Isn't she gorgeous? And here's my new Smegs, which I am absolutely obsessed with. Thank you, Molly, so much. And Murray got this one for me. Spare room is all made, thanks to Murray. And my plants are out. Yay. And the bedroom, looking stunning. And we ended up putting this cute little picture here. And the best part is all of my organized drawers and my beautifully organized closet, gorgeous. And then the bathroom, also beautiful and clean. And my office, look how good it looks in here, guys, with the way the desks are. If you were cleaning your room whilst watching this, good job. And if not, get up and clean your room. But first, if you're still watching to this point, comment down below a soap emoji to let me know who the real ones are. And also please like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You're welcome here. Please subscribe because I went through 10 plus mental breakdowns filming and editing this video for you because I love you. Mwah. Quick apology for it being three weeks since I posted a video. I had eight hours of footage of me cleaning and it was a mission editing all of that. But after this, I'm back with the normal schedule of videos. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.